Dang, so I just got to, to Nate's house and Wayne pulled up in this thing. Oh, 70 Ranger, dude, look at this. All right, guys, good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, we have a super cool video for you guys today. We're gonna go back to the junkyard. It's my favorite junkyard in San Diego. Hey, guys, ask me about this all the time. We're going to an LKQ Pick Your Part uh, down in Chula Vista, California. That is the junkyard we're going to. They have an online inventory. You can select any sort of vehicle uh, and you know what's there. So I went online last night. I saw a bunch of cool cars that I knew you guys were gonna enjoy and I had some parts for this truck that I found. So we're actually gonna be taking my F100 down to the junkyard today uh, and uh, going through some stuff. Hopefully it gets cool cool stuff for this thing so i'm pumped so uh, i'm gonna hook up a sean get some tools in this thing and we're gonna head down there <laughs> all right we're gonna cut straight to the chase we went in the wrong yard uh i don't know why but it's in a premium lot I'm trying to find whatever we can find that's usable and so far the only thing oh dude i'm gonna be pissed no. Oh. Oh. So, anyways, I was looking on uh, their inventory last night because they do have an inventory for everything in here. I saw a truck just like mine. So, uh, there's a couple parts that I was looking for. So, we're just going to walk around in here and see what we can find. First thing I noticed is this truck. It's pretty cool. This thing is like super complete. Yeah, it's impressive. Like, super solid, too. In the world. I don't understand why people think. Yeah, this thing was in really good shape. I got my truck's twin. Dude, this thing's trashed. This thing's just as trashed as I remember it. Oh my god. Yep. Custom rag top. I believe it's here somewhere. Yeah, here's the hinge. The other ones. In the bed. So here's one tailgate. That truck had a tailgate. It was a very, uh, it was a very special tailgate to me. <laughs> oh, this girl ain't half bad. This thing's interesting. It's got headers on and everything. So, story time. So this truck behind me, the reason I came down here was this truck uh, is actually the exact truck that I found on Craigslist like two years ago that had my truck's current tailgate on it. So my truck used to have a green tailgate, I'll put an image on the screen, uh, and this truck uh, had the perfect patina match tailgate for my truck. I found it on Craigslist. Dude didn't want to get rid of it, he wanted to get rid of the whole truck, so I had to pay this guy $200 and give him my tailgate uh, to get this tailgate. So this truck has my old green tailgate on it, or what it did. So, unfortunately, I don't see it anywhere, which is really a big bummer. Um, I'm gonna keep looking around, see if we can find it. But as of right now, I don't see any signs of it being over here, which was a real big bummer. Um, Cause this truck, I'll put the image from the website on the screen, it had my tailgate on it. So, I just, not like I wanted it, wanted it, but I just thought it'd be cool cause Got rid of it two years ago, saw it on Craigslist a year ago, and then found it in a junkyard on the other side of, you know, San Diego. So I was like, that'd be cool if I could go and get it and then make like a bench or a table or something out of it. Uh, just something sentimental would be kind of cool, but I'm gonna dig through some of this stuff, see if I get lucky and maybe I can find it tucked up somewhere. There's, there's a small chance it's still here. I'm a, I'm a little sad, but we'll see if we can find it. Cause mostly cause, uh, I drove my truck all the way down here. See, there's the rear bumper from that truck. This bumper's still on. It's like, come on, it's gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I take that grill. The grill looks pretty good. Like I need another grill. But I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some nice patina doors. Yeah, hard pass. I'm still gonna keep looking. I'm gonna see if I get lucky and find it somewhere. I doubt it though, which is really a big bummer. Dang, that really buns me out. It's like a piece of uh, my childhood. It's gone. It's kind of pissing me off because this random GMC one's here. It's like, I don't want that one. I want, I want my old tailgate. I'm literally gonna walk every inch of this yard because there's a, ch a small chance. I did, I did see a bump site outside that was like really nice, like patina and everything. Um, there's a small chance he might have took it. So if you're watching, can I please have my tailgate back? <laughs> Find anything good? 
that what I think that is? Omni Spark Box? Exactly what it is. Nah, how dare you insult a ranch hair like that? You just freaking roll up this thing and see it? This thing's complete, yeah. Oh, this thing's a hot rod. I don't need it, but it's better in my hands and my garage doing nothing than down here, right? <laughs> Someone took the Cleveland out of this thing. I bet it was a hot rod motor. Oh, the Cleveland ain't here no more. Oh God, I gotta hold my breath. Ooh, those are in really good shape. Nope, my tailgate's not in here, don't care. Oh, what the heck, you're right. What are they called? A Chevy Tornado? Yeah, that was a not size for you. Oh, it's a stick? It's interesting. Oh, it says right there, Mexico. Wow, that's interesting. Never seen one of these before. Candy apple red Mustang, I want one so bad. Dang, I can go down here if I need a door when I wreck mine. Such a cool looking dash. Just put that dash, just the dash pad, and integrate it into a bump side dash. I think that'd be sick. How dare you crush that minty extended cap? I think that's a brick, yeah, brick nose. No. Probably. Dude, it's weird. There's, this lot is normally like packed to the brim. There's like nothing in it right now. And then we got. Everyone's staying home. Yeah, dude, we got a bunch of semis down there. It's pretty cool. Why is there a bug? There's a bug? Yeah, there's a bug. It was up there, right? Oh, yeah, there's a bug. Hey, this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that is actually. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Olivia told me that one day. Olivia, shout out to Liv, uh, that El Camino's and like Rancheros have this like weird storage compartment. I didn't know that. And it goes like all the way back to the wheel well. I never knew that. I was like, whoa. But it like makes sense because the wheel well or the bed floor is just so high. It's like, wow, it's interesting. No, it wasn't a Sunbeam. Oh, it looks like a, no, nah, it's not the Tiger because it has the smaller motor on it. Jeez, this thing is trashed. This oh, it is an Alpine. This is pretty much a Sunbeam Tiger just went to yeah, same car, right? I think the aren't the chassis stiffer, or is it literally just stuffed with the 289 in it? What would you do if you actually found a Tiger in here? <laughs> Isn't it like a high compression 289? Like the Mustang GT 289? Dude, I like this sticker. It says, Welcome to San Diego, now go home. Look, it even has the original spare in the back of it still. It still has the wire wheel. Yeah, it's got the spare. Oh, here's the Morris. This thing is sick. Where? Oh yeah, there's a bug. A lot of weird stuff. That is the smallest rocker arm I've ever, well, that's the smallest motor I've ever seen, but. Huh. Oh my God, that's so tiny. Dude, you could pick the motor up by hand. I'm pretty sure we could. Oh, that's cool. Dang. Dude. The damn thing left in it. This thing on a samurai chassis? Hell yeah. Oh my goodness, that was loud. This thing's beat. Oh wow, this thing's super... Oh, it's got a roll cage in it. I just realized that. Oh. No, it's just... It's just got a... It's got a half... Oh, it would have had a fuel cell and everything. That's interesting, it has a half cage. Oh, it's a really nice cage. Look at that. Look at them welds. Oh my god. I think that would pass tech. This one's way nicer. What is this? I don't remember what this was. I think this was a... Oh, it's a midget. Wow, these seats are so cool. Gross. I'll do one last look around and see if I can find that freaking tailgate. I know it's not here, but... Man, that makes me sad. I'm so sad. I wanted my tailgate back. So lots of it's nice. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna pick up the car. Okay, bye. What if the car just fell off? <laughs> Dang, now I like how the one thing, there's like literally nothing gone from this truck but my tailgate. Like, what the hell? Nice. Under this roof skin that's gone, maybe? No? Darn it. I was gonna take the steering wheel, but I don't really like it. It wasn't as nice as it looked in the photos. Nope, that's not cool. Oh my lord. 
that cab is trashed. I remember when I got the tailgate off of this thing, it looks like that. There's no, these mirrors are junk, the hood is rusted, fenders are rusted. There's not a freaking thing that's good on this besides maybe the grill. There's a little dent right here, which I just now pulled out, not straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna take this grill because why not? I'm surprised how straight it is, look at that. It's not a dent in it. Smooth as glass all the way across. All right, well, I take a grill, at least make my trip some worthwhile. Bummer for this thing, this thing's in really good shape. But uh, yeah, make it worth my while. This one's actually really straight, I might put this one on my truck. Gotta be, go get a powder coated. So long, old friend, screw you for taking my tailgate. Man, I'm just not having a good day. Look at all the stuff we got, isn't that cool? The lady at the counter tells me, uh, that's a header panel. I'm like, I don't know what the hell a header panel is. Uh, it's a truck grill, and truck grill is $26. She said, no, well you have, you have headlight bucket, and it's a header panel. I'm like, I pulled it off a pickup truck. So this lady tries charging me $86 for that grill and I literally just threw it on the ground and walked away. I was extremely pissed off because I just spent an hour and a half get taking it off for nothing. And I bought one like a month ago here at the other yard across the street, which is the exact same business for $26. But apparently, you know, I guess they, more, they know way more than me. So, oh well, I'm in a bad mood. All right guys, what's going on? So we swapped out, we're in the little beater now. Uh, we're gonna head down to Nate Ryder's place, check out some of his cars. He had a wiring issue on his car. We're gonna see if we can help him out a little bit um, and just kind of close the video out there. Sorry, the junkyard didn't really go nearly as well as I wanted it to. I wanted to actually get my tailgate and have this really cool video for you guys. That definitely did not happen, so I apologize for that. Uh, sometimes, you know, life just doesn't go the way you want it. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys up for my Nate Ryder's and uh, check out his car. You guys are definitely gonna like this thing. Dang, so I just got to to Nate's house and Wayne pulled up in this thing. Oh, 70 Ranger, dude, look at this. It's literally like exactly what I wanted to do on my chassis. I could see myself going this low in the back, but maybe not quite in the front, I don't know. But dude, this is identical to my chassis. It's a seven inch step notch with an 8.8. .8. This is a, uh, I believe this is a triangular four link. Oh no, parallel four link. Yeah, this is identical to what's going on in my chassis. It's got even got all the American coilovers in the back. That is freaking mind blowing. And then it's got a pan hard goes across the bottom. You can kind of see it there, but this is literally identical to what I'm doing on the back of my frame. I just need to get back to it. Um, this looks like the stock frame still, which is cool. So I can actually like, you know, see how it's all done and put together. Um, and then I think it had, he was saying like a fat man, uh, custom skate in the front, I believe is what it was. But yeah, you can see the cam out, it's still stock frame. It's kind of notched in the front, it pulls the hole. Control arms out of it. I can't even film it, it's so low. <laughs> Super simple, just a cruiser. I think he's gonna coyote swap this. So that'll be freaking rad to see. We're gonna make some videos of this truck pretty soon. Definitely keep you guys posted on this one for sure. All right guys, so I just got to, to Nate's. You can see Wayne's awesome 70 uh, short bed in the back rack around there. Uh, we're gonna do some videos on that in the future, but check this thing out. So we're just working on this a little bit ago. Uh, I didn't really film too much of it, but this is Nate's uh, 68 Fastback. It's got a 289. He's doing a lot of cool stuff to this thing. So we were just kind of, you know, running through some of the issues it had. Um, I think it had a coil issue earlier. So we pretty much diagnosed that it had a bad coil, so it wasn't really starting. Um, little wiring gurus, I'm sure you guys have all kind of ran through that stuff. But this thing's pretty cool. It's really tastefully modified, super simple, super clean. Uh, definitely a cool little daily driver there, uh, for sure. But uh, he's gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff with this thing. I think he's got uh, some sort of cool motor swap coming in the future for this thing. So definitely go check that out. You know, if you guys wanna see some cool videos of this car, you know, let me know. And we can bring the Galaxy out in the next couple weeks or so. I think we can make some pretty cool videos of this thing and that. So yeah, this thing's pretty sick, but uh, Nate's got a, a bunch of cool plans for it. Uh, you said, so you are doing a motor swap and a couple things. So yeah. what do you got going on with this thing? We have a Coyote motor going to be swapped in with the 6R80. And uh, I just want to see how well it's going to be because I, I love the modular motor and I love the design of the classic. And so we're doing a full motor swap. It's going to be a pretty badass motor. Like we're trying to do it nationally aspirated. It's going to have the cams. It's going to rev really high and it's going to be unique and different and we are going to try to accomplish 500 rear horsepower. That's the goal, naturally aspirated. So we have my engine builder, gonna completely, completely build this thing out of its mind. And yeah, I cannot wait, it's gonna be awesome. Dude, it's gonna be rad. Heck yeah, I'm gonna build my truck out, hang with this thing, dude. It's gonna dude, be it's rad. It's gonna be fun, yeah. Take it to the drag strip, do it all, test and tune. Heck yeah.
Also, we were talking about doing a couple of videos with each other. I don't know if you guys want to see this race my truck or this race my Galaxy. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see some cool videos of this car. We'll make it happen for you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Unfortunately, the junk care part did not go out that well. But uh, we kind of make the best of things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know anything down in the comments below. Uh, any future video ideas with Nate you guys want to see with this car, let me know. He's also got a really cool 1,000 uh, horsepower Shelby that we didn't even have here because it's in paint right now. So if you want to see some cool stuff with that, let me know as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.